Hey everybody, we're back. Amnesia, Dark Descent. Dark? Darkest Descent? Darker Descent. I think it's just Amnesia, Dark Descent. Uh, excuse me, found a tinderbox? Already, this... This session is looking like it's pretty pog for us. Just gonna go ahead and uh, start whipping around, see what else I can find. Uh, last time we were making our way through the goddamn sewer, and now I'm like somewhere else. It looks like I don't know if I want to be here yet. Let me let me let me take a look around. Let me get my bearings straight, okay? I can't just go whipping into every fucking room I find. I gotta. I gotta see what else is out there, you know? Maybe I don't want to go downstairs. Look at this, there's levers. Can you imagine how stupid I would have felt if I didn't pull the levers before I went down the stairs? Okay, the levers aren't working. <laughs> yeah, that's on me. Let's go and get some oil and a note, thank you. I can't stop sweating and shaking. Yeah. The warding ritual Been was there. not something of a sane mind. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Murderer. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. Anyone else think that Daniel's getting uh, a little dramatic lately? You can really tell in his voice. It had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. I mean, I don't know if he's saving your life, but there's definitely an orb involved. Hey, uh, it's been teasing me about an orb for a long time now. Okay, this one doesn't work either. It's been teasing me about an orb for quite a while now, and so far I've gotten no orb. Not even like a like a marble or something, you know? It's it's fucking it's giving me a cock tease. If you will. Oh, uh, that's just wood. Don't don't look at that. That's just wood on the ground. Uh, a rope. Cool. I can hang myself if if need be. Okay. If I need to calm down, I'm probably not going to do it. So yeah, now we gotta go down. Let's just see how deep it is. Can I grab this rock? Can I grab this rock? Cool. I can't grab rocks anymore, but I can grab this wood. Let me just see how deep it goes. Yeah. I mean, I could probably jump, but. It's best to to really get your bearings and go down the giant spiral staircase because they made it for a reason and it was to be appreciated. And if you're not going to appreciate what, everything that this place has to offer, then why even be here? Um, am I going absolutely insane? No, I'm crystal clear with only a few cuts and bruises. Calm Dune. Anything to grab? I see some tinder boxes. What about some oil? How are we on oil? I've got seven oil and four laudanum. Shh. I don't even know what I'm worried about. I could run headlong into danger. Falls in hand, it'd be fine. Agrippa, Agrippa. I need you to stay awake. Can you feel the syringe? No, I can't feel anything. Oh Alexander? shit! Yes. Soon, I won't even be able to move. Will I? Your life is safe. I don't doubt that. But will it be worth living? Meh. He's like, was your, I mean, was your life really worth living beforehand? You didn't seem like all oh, that cool of a dude. Oh, what's this way? The laboratorium and it won't budge. Good. I didn't want to go to the laboratorium anyway. I wanted to pick up a rock or something. I can open this. Let me grab my trusty shovel, toss it over the edge here. Perfect. Uh, naked man, naked baby, naked man over there. Naked man. In, in chains? Is he okay, you think? He looks fine. He looks not fine. Hmm. What's in it for me? What switch? This one? This switch here? You want me to pull this switch? Alright. I'm gonna pull it, dude, but if something bad happens to me, it's on you. You're talking to me in my head now? Oil. Oh, excuse me, his his face is missing. He's missing part of his face. Dude, get out of my head. I didn't give you permission. You hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without an Yes. Orb. 
that's not very promising at all. The sanctum is basically a penetrant, but I guess the why. What a weird body. It could be breached by an author, but Alexander broke his. I mean, my orb. Dude, you I had an orb too? Everyone's like throwing their orbs in my face. Don't take that out of context, okay, you fucking sickos. Why don't you guys chill out? Oh, yep. Did he say I'm gonna find six orbs? Uh, okay, it's my absolute lucky day. Oh, dude, can you chill out? You got, you're asking a lot, man. Oh, sorry. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta take some laudanum. I'm bleeding quite badly from your fucking spikes. No. I can just like, here, I can free you from your husk, dude. You need to get freed from husking? Oh, you'll get freed. What level? Oh, that level. So many of Alexander's things are breaking down. Look around. Maybe there's an other room. There are machine parts in all of What does that sound? You'll find a way to fix it. Fix what? What are you talking about, dude? Tell me to fix something and I fucking hear something. Can I scratch at the wall? Oh, it's like a lever. Uh, how do I get up here? Wait, the gears are turning, but these gears aren't turning. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, can you like shut the fuck up for a second? This guy is, uh, he's a talker. You, you'd think that if he didn't have a mouth, he wouldn't be able to talk so much. I have lost my box. I have found my box. Can I do this? Tell me this is possible. Oh, I can. Can I? Can I, I? I did it. <gasps> I've done something. I made a thing happen. I don't know what it did, but I made it happen. Dude, dude, you gotta. I, I, I appreciate what you're saying, but to be honest, I don't really appreciate it. It cannot be opened here. What about this one? Any chance this one can? Cannot be opened from here. What about uh, this door? Dude, I don't even need those big doors. I think I made a mistake. Excuse me, is there a man here? There, I, I hear torturing. I don't, I don't like what I'm hearing. I, I, I hate this room immensely. Let's just see what it has to offer, though. Anything in here? No. Uh, wh wh why do I get the feeling that I, I don't actually want to be here? Hold on. I did something with gears, right? Do, do, can you just stop, dude? Oh my god, why was your pupil sick, dude? I, I think that's really dope of you to, to keep talking about it. Okay, so I made those gears go. Now, me thinks that perhaps, mayhaps, just maybe, those gears maybe went to the machine upstairs, the levers. Why is it like so difficult to walk up this? Because it said that machine was not working. But now we got something working and that machine was up and we were just down and we fixed something that was pointing up when we were down. And so what's up from down but up? You guys get what I'm saying? I think you understand. Which which place was it again? It was like one of one of these doors here or something. I don't actually remember very well. It was this one. It's the one where you can go into. Yes, now let me do this. Yes. Yes. Your boy with the figuring out of the puzzles and do you see how quickly I sniffed that out? I don't know where this puzzle knowledge came from either. I mean, I guess uh, it probably helps that I cut out like the time that it took me 45 minutes to like put pipes into a wall. And so maybe no one will see just how bad I was at, at that particular part of the game, but okay. On to find my six orbs I was promised. Wait, someone yelling at me? Dude, I'm, I'm trying to monologue about orbs, man. You're over here just like talking about some shit and shit. And I'm like, dude, give me my orbs already. 
All right, I'm fully sane in here. No, there is literally nothing else. I want you to stop. <gasps> they opened the doors. The heaviest of doors have been opened. But what do they give me? What say you in here? Let me let me just whip this around. Uh, I'm putting a rope down a well for some reason. I could probably climb said rope. Let me just let me just climb the rope. Oh, yeah, just climb the rope. I have died. I've been defeated. Only 10 minutes into the episode and I've already died. But I've also like solved a puzzle, so you know. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so I plunged a rope deep into the nether regions of a well. That is not how you would say that. How are things coming? They're coming great, okay? I'm always coming. But I found a Mithraeum once. I do that that's sick. I just need you to shut the fuck up for a second. Okay, I maybe this will come in handy later. I don't know. I've I've put a rope down a well. I threw a rope in a hole. Is there anything else down here? The transept. I don't think I want to be in the transept. This is the thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the wide red forest in the morning sun. Will this ever end? He thought. Yeah, I don't think I want to be here yet. This looks more advanced for me. I'm going back to the nave, where everything felt okay. Carefully cutting the man open made him think, this is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate, grants a certain form of pride. Okay, I'm just assuming that it's like the next area, so I don't really want to go in there yet, but I've dropped the rope down the... Dude rope down the well which I gotta tell you is probably pretty important I'm assuming hopefully is this a different way is this like a new transept transept 2 that's the choir okay let me just uh let me just light this guy so we look have a quick see looks around dude some laudanum I've been needing that uh a tinder box fuck yes any oil in said drawers no, but more tinder boxes. I mean, I get mad about tinder boxes, but get out of here. But like, they're really, they're basically oil, just like a smaller area. Just like for one torch. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Uh, okay, don't make me feel bad for Alexander, okay? Like, I, he's a bad dude, I think. But he's also got the orbs, and I want the orbs, so maybe he's, like, not that bad of a dude. It's, it's hard to tell. Wire. This is what Agrippa was talking about. <clears throat> Agrippa channels Wire. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world's outside, worlds beyond. Wire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release to release Agrippa without killing him. Wire told, Wire told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, Vitae, and Tepter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer. Paralyzer. If I can find the internal gland from a large specimen, the choir seems to be a fertile ground for this sort. I should then be able to ex extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. <laughs> Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion in the water-dwelling kank. 
I will have to address a wire with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Uh, wait, so you're telling me I didn't lower a rope down to my homie? I lowered a rope down to someone bad? Okay, that's the choir entrance. I have to go there to get, not the paralyzer. There goes, that's the vite, I think. And then down here, oh, you're talking to me again? Yes. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. He could just like go into town. He sounds like lonely. Let me pass the gate, Daniel. Please find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via the scribes, and do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save me. Okay, dude, how about this? If you stop talking to me, I will fucking save you, okay? So wait, wasn't there a, a well this way? Can I pull- wait a second. Wait, this is the transept. I don't want to go there yet. But in here, this is the well. And I hear something dwelling beneath. What if I, uh, what if I pull this up? Nothing. Okay. Let me just go ahead and put this back down then. Maybe he'll just crawl up to me and then I can get your tonic. Also, dude, uh, like chill the fuck out, you know, like. This is my story, not yours, you weird old man. No, you fucking asshole. I'm just trying to pass through because this is some sort of hub area and I want to use it to get to the next area, okay? Maybe you just, maybe you can calm the fuck down. And then what is this? The chancel. I mean, that seems promising, doesn't it? Anything important up here? Oh, look at this. I've picked up some meat. Cool. Cool. I was thinking, you know what would be a useful tool? Is just getting some meat. I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in a dim haze. You don't have to talk always so poetically. The traces from my memory, but my body remembers. These cuts speak volumes. Even though my mind remains silent. They will be back. Oh, they'll be back. Uh, they will oh. be back. Oh, I, I, I correctly interpreted or guessed what Daniel was going to say. Dude, I, I have become Daniel. It's almost like I'm playing him in a video game. Anything in these? Wait, tinderbox. I'll take you. Uh, I hear a coughing lady. Or an effeminate man. Either way, I'm not here to judge. Uh, uh nope, I don't like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and move away from that. Just go ahead and take one apple and or eyeball, whatever the fuck this is. Toss that in there. Get the fuck away from me, weird mist creature. Denizen of the night. I wish not to speak with you. Are there, like, anything in these cells? Am I just, like, seeing the, the last resting places of several unfortunate torture victims? I think so. Okay, let's just, we'll, we'll go here now. Chancel, and then I think the transept maybe, or the choir entrance, I don't know. But what I do know is, it had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started- We'll just never know what he started to do. Oh, hello. I, I have found an entrance. It's me, Daniel. There's no way these doors open. Of course they won't, but there's like a, a man fucking crip walking ahead. Where are you going? You late for something? All right, dude, you chill out. You do your thing. Just a little further. Just a little like further. Descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? You know of Orpheus. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. Well, not that remarkable it's then. It's just a myth after all. It's just a myth after all. It's just Orpheus descending into the underworld after all. Daniel, I'm Alexander. 
Uh, sorry, I'm trying to, like, make sure I don't get scared by kind of making fun of the game, giving people weird voices, but <laughs> it's not going to work. I'm going to get terrified. Oh, 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. Oh. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. Listen to this fat they cat, this aristocrat, forgetting what it's like to be one of the peasants. Cowardly pleas of mercy. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. There's no way these men are I bad. He definitely just captured innocent people and tortured the them. Chamber ...and learn how to use them effectively. Last time was messy, and the effect suffered from my inexperience. When the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. D -D Daniel's not like a good dude, is he? This guy is not innocent in the slightest. He's just, he's as much of an asshole as anybody. Uh, excuse me, I've gotten a bucket of tar. Give me this. Take this. I'll take. I'll take one of these. Give me that. Just give. Just, just give this to me. I got it. I found it. He's. He's like actively like torturing people and then like. Oh well. You know better them than me. Although isn't that exactly what I said earlier in the game? I think so. It won't budge. Of course not. Why would it? Why would it budge? Nothing budges. All right. I'm not trying to budge. I'm trying to open. Is that okay with you? So I found some sort of a uh, ziggurat. I don't even know. How far underground are we? And also, where the fuck is my orb? And also, where'd that man go? The crip walking son of a bitch. Don't you think I forgot about you, motherfucker? Oh no, I haven't. Uh, I have found lightning. I, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, I've, I've made a memento. How do I check my mementos? Probably this button. It's gonna be this button here. I think it's this button. It's this one. No, that's a diary. Looking for a memento. A mystic barrier blocks a passage in the chancel. Oh, so I can't even go to the chancel yet. Wait, no, I'm in the chancel. Agrippa, the dying man, wants a specific tonic. One note speaks of a mixture made of three ingredients. An orb is needed to enter the inner sanctum. Its shattered pieces lie scattered in the torture rooms, which I believe is where I'm at. The pedestal has a smooth hemispherical depression at the top. Uh, not unlike an orb. <laughs> oh, uh, I am lucky, aren't I? So lucky that I may perhaps yet find an orb. My very own, mine own orb. Anybody else notice that I maybe have lost my mind today? It's been a long one. Uh, been a long day at work where I completely blew off doing anything and just kind of did whatever I wanted, but still, I had to be there. The shattered orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the first, with the orb first found by Gripa, I have depended on it for my research. The incident with the Wilhelm made me most impetuous. Fearing a paucity of prisoners, a paucity of prisoners, I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. Six, exactly, six! I've tried everything, but has have of yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. There's still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? Who's his love? Oh, he didn't tell me it was for love. You didn't say you were doing this for love, dude. You could have said that. Like, that's different, you know? You can torture for love. Everybody knows that. Sweet, sweet gold. Anybody else notice I found gold? Uh, an altar? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and need to find something else. Uh, probably something to sacrifice on said altar. Uh, this is probably where someone has been, been sacrificed. Any chance I can move this or do anything? Nay. Nave. Wait. Is this just two empty fucking rooms, basically? Where's my- where's my goddamn orb? I was promised orbs. Th 
the puzzle master has logged off and is confused. I feel like there should be something here that there's not. Wait, maybe I need to use one of my items. The meat. No object to use it on. What about the bucket of tar? No object to use it on. What about a glass jar? No object to use it on. Okay, so sick. I found a fucking two completely pointless rooms. Although this one has the black eagle symbol. And that is most interesting. So I'm looking for an orb still. What the fuck is new, right? I'd like to just jump over this altar, please. It looks like it can move or something. I'm not really sure. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to do in this room, but I can't quite figure it out. Uh, maybe we just leave and fucking come back? I don't know. You know what? It needs a jar. It needs a second jar. Oh, probably a statue. Wait, gold sta- oh wait, is there two gold statues? No, but there is a genie lamp. There's two genie lamps. What if I place one here? Please stay. Of course, one there. And then I take the second genie lamp over here. Tablets. And I throw it on the altar. Oh, fuck! Shit! Well... Let's just, uh, I guess we just hope that that's not what I, what I have to do. Hold on, I can figure this out. I'm a smart boy. I'm a smart lad. Okay, yes, the channel in the place has an orb depression. I'm also have an orb depression. I need more orb. Yeah, this is, like, I guess we're just not supposed to do anything in, in this room here. I feel like I should have an orb at this point. Maybe I should have, like, pieces of an orb or something? Anybody else feel like I should be having pieces of an orb? Didn't he say something about they were like... What? Did you say something? Did he... Did he say something? I heard someone say something. Okay, uh... That's all the places to go. You started this. Well, no, I did with you, Barb. You're right. Whoops. Sorry. Maybe these budge now. They don't budge. But wait, there was another door that maybe it budges now. So maybe all of a sudden, because I went into the altar room and I threw the genie lamp underneath the altar on accident i might add maybe now one can open this door somewhere wasn't there a door somewhere maybe i'm missing a key oh yeah here's a door look i can just open this door now obviously it's gonna open right up it won't budge not sure if you guys are seeing this but uh it won't budge. All right, what do I gotta do here? Yeah, I get it. It has, a, it has an orb-shaped depression. Oh, I probably have to go to the transept. Maybe the transept is where they tortured people? Because didn't they say the transept I could get Vitae? And Vitae is where people get tortured? No, Vitae comes from people being tortured. Yes, that's right. Vite comes from people being tortured, and I believe Daniel said that something about the orb shattering in, like, the torture chambers. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Yeah, Daniel, you gotta realize... These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Oh. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. What a fucked up fucker. Wait, so there's pipes that like carry sound or something? I mean, I don't know why I'm, like, surprised there's fucking pipes everywhere in this goddamn labyrinth. The people who were making this, uh... 
like when they were building all this shit were they just like you know man it looks like we're building a prison and this looks like a fucking torture chamber but i'm not gonna say anything there's nothing else i grip but there's nothing fucking else Yes, this is the transept. I'm assuming this transept translates to torture. Something died inside of him that day. Watching that man slip away was more than his mind was willing to handle. Yeah, dude, this is why you shouldn't fucking torture people. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna find some orbs in here. I can just tell. This one, prepare him. This one, prepare him. What? Oh, sorry, I thought I heard something. Okay, I, I just, just feeling like I hear some things. Not sure if you guys hear the things. Uh, yikes! I am scared. Wait, here's the pipes. Okay, here's the pipes, and so here's the torture chambers. Yes, and then tell me there's like an orb or something lying on the ground. I see a tinder box. It's not an orb. I like how it has, it's got instructions. You just, you hang a, a lady or a man, it, you know, depending, by their hands up behind them and put a weight on the bottom. Oh, that's fucking awful, my guy. You should not do that to people. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. This is disgusting, but also like pretty fucked up because I think they actually did this kind of shit. What if I give this a little rotate rotato? Oh, the sound. The sounds I could do without. My my sanity is not doing well. Let me just take some laudanum. Uh, that's not that's not working apparently. What is this? <gasps> do my own eyes deceive me? Is this a, a big up a bit of an orb? Oh, happiest of days. I've found an orb and my sanity is completely fucked. But that's okay. Because you know what makes a man fucking sane is some good old fashioned orbin. It's, oh yeah, it's orbin time. I can't fucking move hardly at all. I think I need to bite the bullet, just take another one of these. Wait. Oh, this does not actually help with my sanity, so I don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. Okay, so that doesn't actually help with your sanity at all. That just makes you healthier, and I've fucked up. I've, al I've also found one-sixth of the ore pieces. I can't see shit, dude. Can you, like, chill out with the darkness in here? I would just like to have a little bit of fucking light every once in a while. More pipes, my I do see, which doth mean that, that I've died. Wait, no, I'm alive. I'm okay? Am I crawling? Can I can I get up? I think I'm gonna be okay. I don't like the sound I'm hearing though. I think I'm gonna be okay. Did that head is pounding and hands are shaking? Oh holy shit! I just had to pass out for a second. You should have told me that all you gotta do to feel better is pass out. And then what do we have here? Oh, look the the worst part isn't the the man being sawed and twixed. It is the dude on the left's fucking bulging eyes, dude. Look at this fucking psychopath. Holy shit, did they really used to do this shit to people? This is grotesque and awful. This would never... No, I, I hate. I hate with all of my... All my heart. All my heart and soul. Uh, just looking for a piece of the orb. Oh, and I've found it, baby. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further? Holy shit, I hate this. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. What are you? Why are you like that? Are you your thing? Okay. 
Yeah, I can imagine that this is like, this would deter you from doing anything. Or if you were like a bad dude, you would just like, you know, ice yourself before you got caught, right? Yeah, this seems like the worst fucking place in the fucking world. And it's pretty obvious that these people were probably not who they said or who Alexander said they were. I really, really doubt that these were like murderers and kidnappers and everything. But you know, if they were, then that's still pretty fucked up, dude. Man, you know, maybe this is why they allowed they outlawed torture in that one convention. The genie convention? Is that what the one they outlawed torture in? I don't fucking know. This man, he has changed. Look at him with his eyes and his face now. They've, they've become not as appealing to me. I don't like the way this man looks. But what's in door number two? Tinderbox, yes. And also, Daniel, you're a fucking torturer, dude. You don't have any fucking right to be all mad about shit. Notes on torture, let's learn more. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. That's what the dude was saying. Maybe it was Daniel was saying that. One of the dudes was saying that in one of the flashbacks was like, oh, my body has been here before, but my mind has not. They fucking, wait, they feed him amnesia? That maybe that's why the game is called Amnesia? 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 Is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. So wait, he's not even of this world. Uh, tch, don't worry guys, I picked up some fucking string. So we got that going for us. Which is nice. I picked up some string. I've also can't pick up these books. Okay, so maybe Alexander is like not a human. Well, someone's talking to me. I don't I don't know who's talking to me, but I would like them to stop talking to me. I can hear things. The things I don't much appreciate. All right, we're basically almost done with the episode, but let's see if we can find one more piece of the ore before we do. Yep, this looks like a son of a bitch. The cradle. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies. Is he all right? No, he's being fucking tortured, dude. A bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course, we are dealing with monsters here. Oh, I don't like whatever this is. I, I, I hate this thing already. There's no way. Show me a picture. Show me a picture of what this does. Show me a fucking picture! No, no, please. I'll do anything. Whatever you want. Anything. I'll do anything. I'm innocent. Uh, I think that dude was innocent. Although he did set a man on fucking fire, so. This probably went up someone's asshole, dude. 
The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Oh, fucking awful. You should not do that to someone. That is a bad thing to do. Also, where's the fucking horror, bro? <laughs> Uh, I came in search of orb. I would like my orb, please. Is that all that's in here? Maybe I have to go to, like, the choir entrance. Yeah, that would actually make sense. I probably have to go to the other places, like the choir. I've already been in the transept and found two pieces of the orb. Okay, so I found two pieces. I need four more pieces. I'm assuming the choir entrance probably has the other one. Are the other four, maybe? That's That seems like a lot of, for one place, but... Whatever. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the wall. Okay, so we got four more orb pieces to find. Uh... And then we gotta make this man, like, a potion or something? Or, I don't know, can't I just, like, kill you or something? Let me just turn this off, please. I would like you out of my fucking head for a second. Okay, so we gotta find some orbs, and we gotta we gotta kill a man, and then we gotta go put an orb in this place, and then there's lightning or something. I don't remember how, how that all kind of played into it, but... We are getting close to an orb, by the way. Wait, I have tar. Hold on. What is this? Glass jar? Bucket of tar. A more appropriate workspace is needed before the tar can be applied. Okay, so I gotta find a spot to do it in. I also gotta put together this goddamn orb, and then we'll, uh, we'll figure it out from there, so... That's, uh, episode ran a little long, but I appreciate you guys sticking around. I know we didn't make a ton of progress on this one, but it looks like we're about to make a bunch. Also, we learned a lot about torture I didn't really want to know about. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! We also learned a lot about torture I wasn't really prepared to learn about, so... You know, we got that going for us, which is nice. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, my dudes.